All right, so for this video, we're going to go ahead and take a shot at Castus Thorn on Master Difficulty. Now, for Castus Thorn, he's one of the encounters where you're provided two options. Uh, in his case, you can confide in him or kill him. Uh, if you choose to kill him, then damage dealt to players is doubled. If you choose to confide in him, then damage dealt to players is halved. Uh, for this video, we're going to choose the halved option just because uh, we're playing a late game control deck, which you can see on screen that's going to be focused on slay mechanics and things like that. Uh, when you choose the halved option, he plays a lot of uh, small creatures with lethal and kind of tries to swarm you, so Ice Storm is pretty big in this matchup, as is the pointed removal. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So the hero the again, house, we pick cast a thorn and confide. Home. The hero faced a choice. Confide in the assassin? All right, so here we go. Let's do our mulligan. Um, I like most of this. I think we're gonna throw back the priest and look for some more early game though. But the rest is looking pretty good. That's much better. You wish to join our brotherhood? All right. Oh, well. We have the ring. Skills. Again, he plays shots. a lot of cheap, lethal creatures. These guys are super annoying. Um, his openers are almost always strong. PvE decks typically are much smaller. There are 30 cards, in fact, right? So their variance is a lot lower. It's a lot easier Careful there. for them to get off to good starts. So we're going to do this just so we can challenge here. The good news is, is that Careful. this thing only does two damage to us because its damage is halved, rounded up. We know. The bad news is, is that with this, it now means we can't make that trade the way that we would have liked. So we are going to pop the ward. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put Cunning Ally over here as well. Let's shed some light on the problem. The reason we do that is because if he takes this trade, then a Firebolt finishes it off. And this can Your win this trade unless he plays like a Fighter's Guild recruit, in which case we have another Firebolt for that. So it's kind of our train of thought. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's take this. Uh, if we had a Defiler, I would say this would be fantastic because we could discard Atromancer and try to get it up and running. Um, I shall be your eyes and ears. You know, we're not going to get to this until much later anyway, and on the off chance we do draw a Defiler, I think that that's still the target. We're going to go ahead and discard. Discard the Atromancer. What have we here? It's not relevant to us now. It won't be for a while. You waste my breath. If I fall, gives us at least one quality defiler target. That was uh, a very timely pickup for us, so we're going to do this here. Careful there, we're going to protect our guy from the lethal here. I have you now. And because I expect him to make the trade into the 2-1, we're going to go ahead and put a guy there just so that we can contest... Um, getting the ward on the board is important because this now hits for four should we need to take out something larger. But with the exception of the three threes, again, this deck doesn't really run a lot of, like, beefy guys that you have to worry about. So we're going to get our first face damage in. And now we have some decisions to make. Go ahead and see what this gets us. Mummify, huh? Uh, of the options in our hand, I think I like Mummify the least. It can be great in a pinch, but we're going to go ahead and pitch that one. Your blood will spill. Let's get a little bit more damage in face. Let's get this win keep on the board. I'm just contemplating firebolting this, but then he still takes this trade here. But it's probably okay. It's all about control on the board against him, because this guy plays a ton of lethal creatures, a ton of cycling guys. So the more you can control the board, the better. Yep, I think we're going to high king this. I this it's damned uncomfortable. Oh, we're going to take him to 26, and I don't want to crack a rune here yet, I don't think. Just because our hand is kind of dry. 
did not mean to click that. I'm not emoting at my AI By opponent. The they will meet their makers. Ah, so that's that's a little bit better there. Not much we can do to protect either of them, so Your blood will spill. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the rune, which of course results in a prophecy. If I fall, the hiss will be clear. Thankfully, it's one that we can deal with. Me out, did you? We're gonna use the uh, the wards on our little guys just because we value those Let a little bit more. Let him hit like a truck. And we expect him to trade into at least one of these. So let's put this over here. Next turn, barring some catastrophe, we can get a Blood Magic Lord online and really start contesting both sides of this. Ah, there he is. That was actually uh, a really timely fireball. So do you remember when I said unless there's a catastrophe? Well, we found our catastrophe. Let's go ahead and trade these two in. And we're actually going to firebolt this before we crack runes. Uh, the reason being this, if he hit, say, like a lightning bolt prophecy to pull this ward off, then this guy would kill him. Whereas if we do this now, this guy does not, and lightning bolt does not. So that favors us. Your blood will spill. Let me take out the rubbish. <laughs> if you're wondering about the time jump you just likely saw, um... My kid came in, so we cut that part out. Uh, one of the beauties of the PvE experience is, as you can see, there's no turn timer. So if I need to take three minutes to attend to my child, no I big deal. In the shadows. All right, Wait. so we're putting the pressure on him pretty well. The thing we have to worry about here now is he's going to flood the board. Uh, there is no question about it. That's what this deck does. They got a lot of cheap lethal minions. We can expect to lose guys. There is no way around it. We kind of just have to go with the flow there. Do I want to give him a rune here? He's basically drawn his entire deck already anyway, so let's just go ahead and get it out of the way and drop our blood magic lord. Alright, that was maybe the worst option. Maybe. Raise dead would have been fantastic. Dream life's not too bad, though it doesn't make quite the impact it does in the other scenario where damage is doubled, though you wouldn't you wouldn't play a deck like this in that one. Um, you're gonna play something that's meant to be fast, have a lot of reach, come out swinging. Alright, so there's a couple of different routes we could go. Uh, he only swings three to the face, so it's not as big of a chunk, in which case we likely want to take advantage of the slay. See, there's a drain light. And we're going to go ahead and play this because we want to try to get out of some of those lethal guys. We also want to shackle everything because, again, we want these guys to trade with the lethals potentially. And I think we're going to drop a Dark Guardian because it opens up another slay opportunity. He can pop the ward. He can do that. And we're actually not going to drain life. We're going to wait. Uh, the reason we're going to wait is because... If we drain life, we should be like gaining three, hello. which negates this, and then we don't get a rune proc, and I wouldn't mind some more cards. Alright. That rather significantly affects our trading opportunities here. Though we did get another Blood Magic Lord, which is kind of nice. We're still going to do this and see what we end up with. A raised dead is pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and do that. To get a tome. I'd really like to get this going, but we're likely gonna play some of these other spells, so. Let's tome up. That seemed good. So now we can firebolt the guy with lethal. Come in for some damage. Let's. I mean, we can always discard whatever it is that we draw, right? Let's go ahead and Conspirator. I, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, we can pitch the Night Shadow. I like the other cards better. Let's go ahead and Drain Light. And pass the turn, if only because we want to be able to get... 
Get multiple uh, creatures from it here. The old one in each lane. Careful there, friend. Okay. He's gonna eat the blood magic lord. No question about it. Alright, the frost nature knock is a bit of a problem. Let's see what we get out of this before we decide what we want to do. Wind keep and dagger fall. Now we can go one and bolt and then have this trade here. That's the best position for board control. Um, but that's also not developing a blood magic lord this turn. I think we want the Blood Magic Lord more, and then we're just going to pass. We don't need to suicide these in. Uh, we will go ahead, and since that's what we got, we'll just go ahead and do that now, too, as an insurance on our health total. Let's go then. I felt like being able to attack with this was more important My friend would like to say hello. than getting these through and making some trades. Uh, we're at the point now where we're racing uh, the health total. He's very quickly used all of the gas we've given him from runes. He's almost out of cards, in fact. We might get a, uh, a mill victory. At this rate. Uh, let's go ahead and see what that gets us. Raise dead seems good. Oh. There's our Atromancer buddy that we discarded earlier. It's only going to tickle him. But it's better than nothing. So now what do we do to defend it? Let's go ahead and our Guardian. This is worth two. We are almost... Just in case he has a way to pop the ward, we'll tome that for protection and continue to flood the board and pass. Let's do this. So with damage half, there's no way he's gonna burst us for 23. We refilled our board. Again, that's the power of the Blood Magic Lords and the late game cards in this encounter. It's exactly why you play a slower deck. Uh, with damage being halved, it's more about just outright value. But we've got it in hand. Even though we uh, put up the guard, the lightning bolt does in fact seal it. So that is uh, Cast This Thorn on Confide. Uh, I will be doing another video for Kill as well, so keep an eye out for that.